The biggest question everyone in that community is asking, is there still a way to keep the church in hands of the Greek Orthodox community? Well, the answer is a bit complicated, but if proper steps are followed, it's a yes. Parishioners tell me September 10th was one of the hardest days for the entire church. The court approved the sale of Holy Trinity by Universal Church. Now, this didn't come as a surprise for the church. In fact, they had been collecting donations to save the church from bankruptcy. I'm told that what made a huge push for donations was the weeping Virgin Mary found before the sale of the church. That's when a large donor reached out to see if there was a way to overturn that sale. They then moved to hire bankruptcy attorneys to develop an argument, and the argument was filed last Thursday, and the court decided it would hear it, which was a major victory for the church. Now, the next court date is Tuesday, October 15th. By then, the church has to raise $2.5 million. And get this, in just three to four days, they've raised $2.1 million. As of now, the church is $300,000 short from reaching its goal. The plan is to renegotiate and settle their debt with the bank, but first, they have to prove they have that money. Now, large donations can be dropped off at the church in the Belmont Central neighborhood or be put in an escrow account through that church. For smaller donations, you can go ahead and visit the church's GoFundMe page. If the church is unsuccessful, the money will go back to the donors.